guys, welcome back here to the Mopo Nationwide Series as we are down to the final three races of the season. And probably one of the biggest points that we've had in some time as Danny Wells really escaped Zinjoltis with a pr almost a full race points lead now over second place, Anthony McCurry. For now, let's try the second week of restricted plate racing in a row. Let's see how he does today and the rest of this field as we're here in Alabama today in Talladega Super Speedway for the running of the Napa Auto Parts 125. Now, I don't know what's going to happen today, but there might be a lot of Napa Auto Parts and everything used and things after this race, because there's going to be probably some cars that are wrecked today. We don't know, but we got 12 laps around this 2.66 mile Super Speedway for race number 30 of the Mopar Nation Series Season 3. And as we head to the back straightaway, we have an interesting front row, I'd like to say. Look who is on the front row. I remember the last time we were here, I'm pretty sure that 2 of Luke Walker and that 64 of Dylan Young bowed it out for the win. It went to Luke Walker, who uh, has not won since the first Talladega race this season, so we're back to a track he won at. He won the oh, he won at uh, Talladega, and he also won at Daytona. So we'll see how Luke Walker does today, and Dylan Young, who actually won the other Daytona race. So these have been a couple cars that have dominated the plate race this season. We'll see how Walker and Young do today. Sean Hindley starts third today. Sean comes in today's race. He is fifth in points. He's 65 points out. Very far margin, but a lot can happen today, and we'll see what happens later on. That is Cole Daly in the 32. He had a great run last week, I believe. He did at Zinjoltis. Charles Jackson, a former winner here. He actually won here two seasons in a row, the spring race here. So we'll see how Charles does. He tries to go for his third Talladega win, winner earlier this season at Memphis, Rohit Vaderveer, winner of this season as well, starts sixth in the 11 car. I can't even tell what that is behind him. Oh, excuse me, I've been like burping all day. Whew. Aaron Reed, who is just trying to have a good run, he is going to start in the seventh spot. Chris Kyle starts eighth. Trent Dunham ninth, and Joshua Osborne will round out the top ten. As you don't see Danny Wells, Anthony Curry, or well, there's actually Alex Jones right there, last week's winner. He jumped to third in points in that 31 car. He's 43 out. He's He and Anthony are the only two guys within one race of Danny Wells. So Aunt, uh, Alex Jones is back in the conversation for the championship. Looking back a little bit more. Anthony McCurry, there he is. He's mid-pack. Danny Wells is even further back. A couple of tax area cards this week. Him and Michael Norman, his teammates, running it. Uh, looking back here, Mike Becker in the 43. Start, he's fourth in points. He's right here. Aaron Williams Jr. is fifth in points. He's starting last today. So... Guys, a lot of these guys are toward the back, but we'll find out. I have no idea why I just did that. I could have went the other way. I'm stupid. But anyway, we're going to take a look at your starting lap for today's uh, Napa Auto Parts 125 from Talladega Super Speedway. The starting grid is coming up next, and the race will follow suit, and we'll be going racing here at Talladega. Stay tuned. going to happen today at Talladega. We saw what happened in Joltis, Wild and shook up the points. And now it's round two of the back-to-back -back doubleheader for the Super Speedway races here toward the end of the season. Now the Nationwide drivers will take it today here at Talladega and the cup race will be tomorrow or whatever. It will be here in relative time when I record. But anyway, Luke Walker, Dylan Young ready to go at it again here at Talladega Super Speedway. But this time during the Napa Auto Parts 125, we are underway from Talladega. Like I said, it's going to be all about timing, being in the right place at the right time, and not doing a stupid move on lap one. Luke Walker already getting way up there with Sean Henley and Charles Jackson, a couple of Roush cars up behind the RCR number two. Henley needs to, uh, the best run he can today. Basically, everybody's running down that five car, hoping that Danny has problems today. Aaron Reed already about to go four wide. They already are going four wide. That didn't take long. Dylan Young got kicked to the way outside line. He has no drafting help. Cole Daly's going to slide up in front of him. Oh, Charles Jackson sneaks under his teammate Sean Henley. So now he's going to help him try to lead the lap. So he's going to drag race to the line and leads the lap. Henley still has a shot. Oh, don't let really that lap. He goes to Luke Walker. He led lap one as Charles Jackson, a two time Talladega winner, takes the lead. His friend Trent Dunham right behind him in the Pepsi 24. John Galligan right there in the suit. And Seth Cole, who won a cup, or uh, he finished second last week, I should say. Seth had a shot to win last week. He was strong in, in a plate race. He's there once again. 
Sam Young has won this season. There's Alex Jones, last week's winner, down on the bottom in the 31. As Sean Galligan's going to the lead, that three car won last season here with Charles Jackson behind the wheel of that three. Second of his two wins here. So three wide for the lead as Seth makes a three wide down low. Working back there, Danny Wells, I think, has dropped toward the back. He's kind of riding back there. I see him back there. He's the second tax later. Michael Norman's a little bit ahead of him. So four wide once again. Man, these guys are careful. Racing harder, but Sam right. Young is leading the way. Michael Walton trying to get the bottom going. There's Cody Lamas getting help from Josh McCollar down low. Lamas would love to have a good finish. He's leading the cup race here last season when he was driving for Michael Walter Racing and blew an engine while at the front. And I believe that's like the last time I've seen an engine failure, I swear. I have not seen another one since then. But Cody's had some uh, bad memories of Talladega, but right now he's leading the way as they are four wide for second place. And there's his teammate right behind him, another Monster Energy looking car. That's Tim Wolf, who won back in Chicagoland. Falling suit with his teammate. The two Monsters are took up at the front. That's an interesting sight. Steven Gonzalez is there in third. Ethan Hamill is going for four wide for many rows. Holy cow, that is getting crazy. Steven Gonzalez is going to make a three wide for the lead. And he's going to be the one that gets the lead over here in the corner. Look at behind him. Look at this. And Danny Wells is in the very back with Mike Becker. But look at this gaggle of cars. They're still okay. I don't. Oh, man, they're right toward the front. Oh, my goodness. No hesitation from these race drivers. Race car drivers are definitely going at it. Like it's the last lap. We still got a few laps to go. Holy cow, I wouldn't want to be one of these guys in the middle row. Oh, well, mistaken. There they go, just like that. There are the wreck. I don't know who was involved. Race it back to the line. I didn't see who was involved at all. I see both tax light cars up here, so Danny looks like he got through. He was all Oh, and they wrecked again. Alex Jones is upside down. Oh, huge crash. Alex Jones, last week's winner is barrel rolling. Oh, he's got hit by Tim Walsh. Walsh just hit him, and Jones is flipping last week's winner third in points. There's Tim Walsh. There's Aaron Reed. Anthony McCurry, second in points, wrecked again. Sean Henley, fifth, or, uh, yeah, fifth in points. He's involved in a wreck. Chris Dollarton's involved. There's Joshua Collard, Liam Irvig, Alex Jones on pit road, Trent Dunham's destroyed. Really at Vaderview. There's Cody Lamas. Did Danny get through it? That five car has a golden horseshoe up his you know what right now. Holy cow. Mike Becker is fourth in points. He's the only other guy out there in Aaron Williams Jr. that got through that wreck. And that five car escaped again. I, it, it's just, I don't know. I don't break my series, but I just don't understand how <laughs> how lucky somebody can get on a game. I guess if it's your season, it's your season. I mean, James McLeod is a prime example of that last season. Wow. And he was running in the back. I mean, that's right where that happened, so I don't know. That was pretty interesting. A huge crash. There was two different crashes on the same lap. A big chunk of the field is involved, including last week's winner, Alex Jones, and other championship contenders involved. That is all that Danny Wells would love to see right now. Anthony Curry, second in points, damaged. Sean Henley, fifth in points, damaged. Alex Jones, last week's winner, third in points, damaged. I mean, that's crazy. And it, I don't even know what to say. Liam Irving is involved, Trent Dunham. I mean, just, I don't even know. But... So I set up for a little shootout now, and after all that, Jake Rogers in the 12 is out front leading. We'll go back and take the replay and check it out, or check it out, wow. Uh, we're going to check the replay out and see exactly what happened to cause that huge melee. I'm trying to figure out what happened here. I don't know where the best angle is going to be. Keep it on the 38 of Anthony McCurry. He's right up behind Charles Jackson. There we go. Is he actually going to hook Charles, or does Chris Dollarton hit Anthony? Oh, I think Anthony's going to get clipped by the 82 right here. Yeah, he is. Hook him straight down. They get into Joshua Mudd, but I think he actually continues on. M McCurry goes up the track. Right in front of Trent Dunham. Nowhere to go. Trent Carter gets up in the air. Look how airborne he gets. Liam Irving's already upside down. Dollarton's already halfway over. Henley is like, riding the wall trying to avoid it. Trent Dunham is literally on the barrier riding it. 
I don't think I don't know if anybody else got involved. Oh, there's Michael Norman, Mike Becker. You see the points leader, Danny Wells. He snuck by on the bottom as the wreck progresses right there. Trent's car is like a top. Holy cow! I think Jonathan really gets through this wreck. Oh no, he doesn't. That's where he hit Liam, and that's where he got his damage. And then up here, I'm not quite sure where this one started. Let's look up for the 31. Oh wow, Aaron Reed. Oh, he's got into his own teammate. Is it these Gibbs cars keep getting into each other or something? What's the deal? I'm trying to remember if something happened with Aaron Reed last race. As in Joltis, him and Roy Vaderby. I feel like I got in a wreck. I, I don't even remember. I think they might have. But nonetheless, they got together. And the two monster cars are right there. They got involved. And Alex Jones just got caught up in that wreck. Nowhere for him to go. Joshua Collins going to get snuck up in this. Or swept up. Michael Walton gets a piece, Sam Young gets a little piece, Alex Jones getting pushed up against the wall. As the points are at Danny Wells, Jack Richards, and others sneak by on the bottom. Man, oh man. And then Alex Jones going to go for others. Mike Becker getting by, Michael Norman, Justin Williams. And Alex Jones going for a ride. He got clobbered big time by Tim Walsh right there. And the Brant Chevrolet comes to rest in the infield grass. And that's what happened right there. And the points leader escaped. Well then. And there was the race back to the line. And Jake Rogers is going to be your leader. Let's go back to finish up this last run and see what happens on the shootout here at Talladega. And we're back. As you look at the field, lots of cars dropped out of the race. They include Liam Murphy, Chris Dollarton, who's 10th in points, Trent Dunham, Joshua Collar, Aaron Reed, Alex Jones, 3rd in points, went up 37. Today, that is a tough break for him. It's really going to hurt him. Tim Walsh. John Henley, 5th in points, went up 35th. Roy Baderview is out of the race. Anthony McCurry is still on track. He's in 33rd last car out there running. I don't know what he's going to be able to keep up with them or not. I'm not sure. I just see some cars in the back damage. Danny Wells is running in 23rd place. Aaron Williams Jr. was 11th. And uh, Richard Johnson, 7th in points. He's 3rd right now. But Jake Rogers out front right now. Trying to get his first win here in the Mobile Nationwide Series since last season at Road America. He drove for the 81 team, another Dodge team, but has not won a race since driving for Penske Racing in this 12 car. Going to the Mountain Dew Race Series champion is trying to get something to happen over here on the Nationwide side. As Daniel Day got kicked straight out of line. They're freight train, the hefty Toyota on the outside. They're all connected behind the 12 of Jake Rogers. Here comes the Darlington winner, Ethan Hamill, another rookie getting help from Michael Causey, who has still been on the verge of trying to get a win this season. Here he is once again up here at the front this week in the Best Buy colors. There he is, getting help from Steven Gonzalez and Ron Acosta, who is also in that little battle for the most wins ever in the series history. He's still looking for that sixth win. And Aaron Williams Jr. is a couple of cars back. He's also trying to get his sixth win. Drake Rogers probably wishing this was the last lap. He has to hang on for two more laps. Michael Causey is up on the back bumper. Here comes Kazi to the race lead under the 12 right here. Kazi makes his move. Here comes Joshua Osborne with Dylan Young. We haven't seen him since the beginning of the race. And Luke Walker right behind him. The 2 and the 64 are coming toward the front again with help from the 33. And look at Dylan Young going straight to the front. Look at the run the 64 is getting on the inside. And he's going straight to the lead. Dylan Young and Luke Walker. Looks like they're going to be going at it again here at Talladega for another race. Dylan Young was leading coming to the white flag last time here. He lost the lead by doing just that. Went to the high side. And it's going to cost him again. Luke Walker getting help from Aaron Williams Jr. and Chris Kyle. The white flag is out as Luke Walker leads the lap. What is going to happen this lap? Luke Walker trying to get his third win of the season. He's going to have to protect the ball. And that car has been a restricted plate. Magical car, I guess. I don't even know how to explain it. Aaron Williams Jr. is trying to get something to happen. Chris Kyle is coming up on the bottom. This will be a huge points day for the 33 if he can actually hang on. But he's still thinking victory. He's trying to get under Luke Walker. Aaron Williams Jr. on the back bumper of his teammate. It's going to be an RCR duel for the win. Chris Kyle and Seth Cole are coming in as well. And here he come. Luke Walker. He gets poked to the inside. Here comes Aaron Williams Jr. They're going to come to the line. And at the line it's going to be... I think it was Aaron Williams Jr. It was... Yes, Aaron Williams Jr. has won his third race of the season. And Aaron Williams Jr. has just became the winningest driver in the Mopar Nationwide Series history. He breaks the tie with Michael Cosi and Ron Acosta. 
Aaron Williams Jr. has picked up his third one of the season for car 33 and his seventh career win. Wow. He set up his teammate and got him there at the end. Edged out Luke Walker and kept him from victory. But Aaron Williams Jr. makes history today as he is now the winniest driver in the Mobile Pro Nationwide Series history. Wow. Where did he come from? <laughs> I don't know, that was crazy, but... Nonetheless, that is the Talladega race in the books. And now we only have two races remaining, and Aaron Williams Jr. might have just gone back up into the battle for the championship. But not probably by too much, because I look down, and Danny Wells is there in 11th place. Man, Danny's not making it easy for these guys to catch up. He avoided both weeks of disaster on a restrictor plate track. Now he has to worry about Phoenix and Homestead. Danny Wells is setting sail right now for back-to-back -back championships if everything continues to go his way. But, man, everybody else is just making it easy for him. <laughs> but Aaron Williams Jr. wins today. Congrats to him and the 33 team. And big celebration day for them as he gets that seventh win. Luke Walker will have to settle for second. Almost got his third restrictor plate win of the season. That car has been bad to the bone fast on these plate tracks. Seth Cole, after a second-place finish last week, is third this week. That's back-to-back -to -back top five for that 52 team. It's been a rarity for that team to do good this season. It's a good run for Seth. Chris Kyle hung on for fourth. Great run for him. And Charles Jackson around the top five, a former Talladega winner. Daniel Hummel, Sean Galligan, Cole Daly, Joshua Osborne, and Michael Cosby round out the top ten. And you see Danny Wells ends up 11th. Man, he's just made it look easy today, avoiding those wrecks. <laughs> I don't even know, but that was crazy. Uh, and then see through the field anymore. Dan Daniel Day, Dylan Young was bound for the lead. He dropped all the way back to 13th. That's so why I say he got kicked to the high side and got free trained. So Armand, Brody Vancha, James Qualls, Mike Becker's up 17th. Kind of keeps himself relevant for the last couple of races. Richard Johnson, 18th. Jake Rogers, Michael Norman, the top 20. And then the rest of the field, you look through where you finished. And then those guys that really need a good runs today, Anthony McCurry, last car running in 33rd. I mean, man, it's just, that's going to kill him. I mean, he was like the only hope up there. And the other one was Alex Jones, and he ended up running and finishing 37th. Sean Henley, 35th. Whew. These guys are making it easy for Danny. I don't know, but but that's it from Talladega. The Napa Auto Parts 125 is over with, and Aaron Williams Jr. is victorious. We'll see where he is going to be in points. He might have got himself back up in the battle. We'll have to wait and see, though. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's race. Uh, remember to comment, like, subscribe, keep up with the series. I hope you enjoyed the Talladega race. Stay tuned for the Cup Series Chase Race number 7 here from Talladega coming up next uh, on the channel. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But thanks for watching the Open Nationwide Series. Race 30 here at Talladega. Congrats one last time to Aaron Blaze Jr. on his record-breaking win for his seventh win of his career, third of the season. And uh, points will be at the end of the video. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next time here in the Mopar Nation by series. Oh, and he also started last in one. Just letting you guys know. That's pretty good. Anyway, bye! Probably not, but I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, and I hope you liked this video for today. I will see you guys next time, very soon, and thanks for watching this diecast for you. I'll see you guys later, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Bye! the light, time way, wow. How did I get up there? Uh, <laughs> The Catch and Rohit Ray Review! This is going to be a problem in Ryan Acosta! P200 runs John Dillon up the hill! Justin Perry is on his back bumper! He's going to get wrecked! Oh, he gets pinned behind the 51! It's, uh, that's all it takes! John Dillon is going back to victory lane! This time in the Mountain Race Series, John Dillon takes the Daytona 500!